This is the eighth problem. In that they said that two trains leave the railway station at the same time. The first train travels towards west and the second train travels towards north. The first train travels 5 km per hour faster than the second train. If after 2 hours they are 50 km apart, find the average speed of each train. So what they said? They said that let this make this point is a railway station. So they have started from this point. So first train is traveling towards west and the second train is traveling towards north. The first train is 5 km per hour faster. So we don't know the speed of the first train and it is faster than the second train. So when after 2 hours after 2 hours they are 50 km apart means the distance between them is 50 km per hour 50 km so we have to find the speed of each train so this is the first train and this is the second train so let us start the solution we don't know the speed of the second train so let the speed of the second train be x so let the speed of the second train B X. So if we have taken the speed of the second train is equals to X, then the speed of the first train is equals to that will be five kilometer per hour is extra means that much faster is there so x plus 5 kilometer per hour then next we know the formula of speed so what is the formula speed is equals to distance by time so when i multiply this speed with time we will get distance so distance is equals to speed into time then next distance traveled by distance traveled by second train distance traveled by second train is how much time they have given they have given the 2 hours so after 2 hours that will be 2 into speed into time so time is 2 and speed is x so 2 into x 2x the next distance traveled by first train distance traveled by first train is equals to 2 into speed is x plus 5 so 2 into x 2x plus 2 is a 10. The next they said that so we have got the speed and distances of these two. The next if we see this triangle it is a right angle triangle. So we know that in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square is equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. So hypotenuse is 50. So 50 square is equals to opposite is opposite is x speed of the second. So that is not x that is 2x. So 2x whole square plus adjacent is 2 into x plus 5 that is 2x plus 10 whole square. So 50 square is 5 ka square is now the 25 and 0 0. So 2 ka square 4 x ka square x square plus this is in the formula of a plus b whole square. So a square means 4 x square and b square means 10, 10 square. That means 10 square will be 100. 10 square plus 2 into a b. So 2 x into 10. So 2 5 double 0 is equals to 4 x square. 4 x square plus 4 x square. This will be 8x square plus 10 square is 100. 
plus 2 to the 4, 4 tens of 40, 40 x. The next we can send this to that side. So it will become 8 x square plus 40 x plus 100 minus 2500 is equals to 0. 8x square plus 40x minus so 2500 means if 100 is equal to 2400 is equals to 0. The next we can take out 8 common. So 8 is common. x square is left. 8 5 is 40x minus 8 3 is 24 so double zero is equals to zero then this 8 goes in the denominator of zero so it will be zero by 8 is zero so x square plus 5x minus 300 is equals to zero then next we will factorize this one so 300 into x square we will get 300 into x square 300 x square the next is 5x the middle value is 5x so we require two numbers such that if we multiply we should get 300 square 300 x square and if we add or subtract we should get 5x what are those two numbers that will be 20x and 15x here the sign of this 5x is plus so we will put plus for 20 and this will be negative the next in place of 5x, we can substitute these two values. x square plus, in place of 5x, we have to substitute these two. So, 20x minus 15x minus 300. 300 is equals to 0. The next, x is common, x plus 20 minus 15 is common, x plus 50, 15, 20 is a is equals to 0 x plus 20 is common x minus 15 is equals to 0 once we have to take x plus 20 is equals to 0 and x minus 15 is equals to 0 when 20 goes to that side it will become positive sorry negative so minus 20 so this this has to be neglected because negative value should not be there so it is neglected so x is equals to minus 15 becomes plus so x is equals to 15 therefore now we can find the speed of the first train so let the speed of the first is, sorry second train is x therefore speed of the second train z equals to x x is 15 so 15 kilometer per hour therefore speed of the first train is equals to x plus 5 that means 15 plus 5 that is 20 kilometer per hour